Hello soulmates. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very simple DIY. Today I will be showing you how to make a box pleat skirt. Now these are the materials that I have for this skirt. I went ahead and off camera I made my waistband. So this is my waistband. And this is the fabric that I will be using to complete this project. Now, my fabric, the length of my fabric, it depends on you how long you want your skirt to be. My length is 25 inches. I have 27 inches here. So I added two extra inch for seam allowance. So how are you going to know the width of your fabric? The only thing you need to do is you're going to take your waist measurement and you're going to multiply your waist measurement by three to get the amount of fabric that you will need. So my waist measurement is 33 or 34 inches. So the amount of fabric that I will need would be 99 inches. Plus you will add more seam allowance for the zipper. So one inch or two inches for the zipper and that's all you you will need for this project so here I have my fabric and I also you're also gonna need your wonder clips or you're going to need or if you don't have if you don't have wonder clips you're going to need your pins you're also going to need your chalk because you will be working on the the fabric itself so I have my chalk here and my pins my wonder clip so let's get started let's just get straight into the video so the first thing you're going to do so I'm going to draft on my on the front of my fabric so the first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to measure out on this side of your fabric you're going to measure out your seam allowance. So I want a seam allowance of one inch. So that's what I'm going to put here on my fabric. From the edge of my fabric, I'm going to leave my sewing allowance of one inch. I hope you can see my chalk. So I'll use the blue, the blue is better. Right, so one inch. So what you're going to do is that you can make the width of your pleats um, any size. Um, for me, personally, if I'm going to make a skirt of 33, I'll make the width about um, 3 inches. Depends on what you want for your um, the width of your pleats. But I will just make mine 3 inches because then I want a lot of pleats. So what you're going to do you're going to keep measuring you're going to keep measure three inches all the way over so I have three inches here I'm going to measure another three inch here I'm gonna keep measure that three inches okay So you're gonna keep measuring your three inches. When you measure your three inches, what you're going to do is that you're going to take this pleat right here, this one, that's not the one from the zipper, but you're gonna take this one and you're going to fold it under like this and you're going to put it on the one inch seam allowance that's right there. And you're going to take your wonder clip or your pin and you're going to clip it there so that it doesn't move then you're going to take this one here and you're going to fold it and put it on top of the other mark that's here and then you're going to clip it okay so I hope you understand what I just did. So now you see that your first box pleat is formed. But then you have to be careful with this in the middle here. Because if you're not careful, 
So I'm just going to clip this back. Ensure that the back of this right here, they are together like this. Ensure that they're together so you could take another wonder clip and you could clip it here just to keep it together like this so that you will not get incorrect measurements. So if I should flip it here, you're going to see I have a box pleat on this side or let me turn it this way so you could see. So I have a box pleat on this side. that is formed. Now, to make it easy for you when it comes on to ironing your garment, I would suggest that you measure the same thing at the end, okay? So, I'm going to measure the same thing at the end of my garment. So here, I'm going to go in by one inch, that's my seam allowance, okay? And then, I'm going to measure three inches, then another three inch, then another three inch. And I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. So I'm going to fold it here just for easy ironing purpose. Okay? I'm going to fold it here and I'm going to clip it. Then I'm going to fold this three inch here. And I'm going to put it here on the other three inch mark. Okay. Like this. You see, just fall in line. And you are going to clip it so that when you are sewing, it's easy for you. So what you'll do now is just that you're going to take this to your ironing board and you're going to press it down so that you'll have a straight even pleat so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the pleats just the same so I have my first pleat done you see how beautiful that is so now I'm going to continue to pleat so whatever I do at the top I'm going to do at the bottom so here I have another pleat. So I have another pleat here. So here I have another blue mark. I'm going to take this blue mark and I'm going to put it exactly beside this one. Okay. Like this. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it here on that mark. Okay, so ensure that it is straight. I have a small space working with, so bear with me. And I'm going to clip it down. Ensure that the back is on beside each other so you won't get incorrect measurements. Always ensure that it is close by each other so that you don't get incorrect measurements. So there you have it. So now at this point, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do your three inch all the way over three inches three inches three inches you could make your your pleats bigger it doesn't matter it depends on what you want okay so i'm going to put this here And I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it here. So
So there you have another piece being formed. So how do I know when to stop? Okay, what you're going to do is that you are going to me keep measuring until you get your waist. So here I have 6 inches, okay? So if you notice, the two pleats gave me 6 inches, alright? So I'm going to keep pleating until I get my 33 inch. Okay. I must tell you also, you can iron your clothes while you do this. You can iron it if you have the space or you can do this on your ironing board and just iron as you go. But because I my ironing board is not very close to me, I'm just gonna go ahead and pleat up everything. So let's go again, let's show you again how to pleat this. You're going to take this pleat, this mark and you're going to put it right exactly beside not on top up but beside the this mark and you're going to pin it down okay now you're going to grab the one that's directly now and you're going to take it and you're going to put it over onto the other three inch mark that's right there so there you have it you're going to keep doing this until you get to the length of the top that you want okay so I'm gonna click that down gonna go ahead again so you can actually predict how much you are because we're moving by multiples of three okay going by multiples of three so now this one four would be twelve so in all I'm supposed to have eleven pleats if we want to get technical with the math aspect <laughs> okay ensure that the back is All right, so let's check to see how much we have. Let's go. Let's check to see how much pleats we have so far. It would be nice if you press this as you go. It's much easier. It's just that I have to just do everything and then do one press. So let's check to see how much um, the length that you are now. So from here. So I have 21, okay. 21 so it means that I have to keep going okay so I'm gonna keep going until I get my 23 inches so when I went ahead and I pleated it everything okay this is what you're going to have okay so you're going to check now to see if you have your waist measurement from the edge of this paper so now you see I have 33 inches when I finish pleating now what you're going to do before you take it to your sewing your pressing iron or anything you're going to go ahead and you're going to run a basting stitch to secure these pleats run the basting stitch all the way down to secure the pleats so that they don't um, pull out and I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom I could always pull it out later on so after when I'm ironing I will not have all these clips in the way I will just have can adjust as I go so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take it to my my sewing machine and I'm going to run a stitch all the way down and then I will show you what to do after I do that I'll show you what to do so be very careful with these clips you don't want them coming out so so mates I went ahead this looks jagged but I went ahead and I based down my stitches right so if you notice they look straight 
this looks straight enough so that I could take it to my sewing my ironing board so what I'm going to do now I'm going to iron so this is the top half and I'm going to iron my pleats down for them to stay after I do that I will just take out this basting stitch because I did it as a guide so that the top could be even with the bottom because you want a pleat that is so um, crisp and precise you know and even so you don't want it to be um, the t them swinging like when I used to go to school and used to wear uniforms and had to play it and I didn't know how to pleat so well <laughs> so you don't want your pleats to look like mine in my days of school so ensure that you have them nice so what I'm going to do I'm going to iron these down and then I will show you how to add the zipper allowance at the other side and then we're just going to take this baby home we're gonna put it together so that's what I'm gonna do now iron it down this is what we have you see those pleats are nice and straight so now you could go ahead and take out your basting stitch at the bottom but what before I take out those basting stitch, I am going to show you. Remember, we did not add the seam allowance at this point. So now that we have this pleat being straight, now we can go ahead and add our seam allowance because we know that it's going to be straight. So right now, I'm going to add my one inch that I did on the other side and I'm going to cut it off one inch from the pleat because my pleat is straight so I wanted my seam allowance to be straight also so I take my one all the way down I'm sure there are many other ways that you could achieve this but this is the way I find it much easier to manage okay so I'm just gonna cut this out. There you go. This you could use to make scrunchies. <laughs> Nothing wasted. So now that I have my pleated skirt, this is it. I'm going to take out those stitches at the bottom. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to take out the basting stitches. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you what is next. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I took out my stitches at the bottom. Remember, you're, you'll have to iron it again because now you're going to turn up your stitch and um, finish the end of it. But before you do that, what you're going to do is that you're going to fold in your seam allowance, the one inch for the zipper, you're going to attach your zipper. But before I do that, I like to, I like to put my band in first before I attach my zipper. You could just attach your zipper and then you put your band in. That's okay also. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my band and I'm gonna put right sides facing each other and I'm going to take my half an inch seam allowance. I will do that and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so mate, so. Okay, so mate, so I went ahead and I attached my band to the skirt. This is how it looks. This is the back side of the skirt. This is the front, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take this and I'm going to, this is my midpoint, I, I, I already ironed it. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take my one inch seam allowance and from my midpoint right here, I'm going to start attaching my zipper. So I'm gonna attach my zipper all the way down using and then I close up my stitch. So I'm going to take my zipper, how tall I want it, and then I close up my zip. After that, I'll show you what to do. Okay, so mate, so I went ahead and I attached my 
there you have it this is my zipper so I went ahead I attached my zipper and I also attached my waistband okay so there's my waistband so this is what it looks like in the middle or in the wrong side I just went ahead and I searched the end I also searched the end of my zipper allowance and I also searched the end of my my skirt now you can go ahead and do two fold it under fold it under and then run a stitch all the way around or you could use your hand to do a blind hem whatever works for you but because I like um, when I do a box skirt or anything pleated I don't like to see it bulking at the end so what I'll do I'll just run a stitch all the way around so that I don't have to fold it because my fabric is quite thick so you go ahead and do that so I'll, I'm gonna do that now I'm gonna stitch all the way around and then that's it I'm just going to give it another press just to relax the end of it and then my skirt will have been completed so this is the end result of the skirt and because you already um, steam ironed it the pleats are already set so it's going to be very easy now for you to set these pleats I hope you find this video helpful if you did please give me a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe for more videos and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified each time I make a, vid a video. So until then, go and make your, your box pleat skirt. I'll see you soon. Bye.